rumors that you know Sony or or HP or 7-Eleven or somebody's going to buy Apple because <laughs> <laughs> you know we can't they couldn't keep it going and uh, he said we got we got to save this thing and it's going to take an incredible amount of work and we're going to sit down every week and we're going to figure out what we got to do next to convince people we're not going out of business that we're not going to die that we're going to re-engage with software developers, that we're going to be a great company again. But the problem was, you know, he needed a window of time to, to figure out what to do, what to ask engineering to do, what to do with products, what to do with, with all of that. And we went up and shared with them an idea that he kind of asked us think about this thing. And over in the third floor in the tree section of that building, a bunch of us uh, came up with Think Different. A campaign that, you know, kind of my sense of, of Steve's passion for creativity and people that uh, thought they could change everyone's lives, change the world, was kind of the, the, the center and the soul of, of what Apple wanted to be, should be, wanted to return to. And we couldn't hold up any new products to prove how Apple was going to go into the future. So we held up this conversation that celebrated genius, that celebrated uh, people who changed the world in all kinds of ways. So you all might have seen this commercial as well. It was the first commercial we did. It was an incredibly emotional experience for, for me and for Steve. We decided it needed to run on a Sunday evening when Toy Story was going to be on the air for the very first time uh, from Walt Disney. Uh, and we said it has to, the new Apple commercial, 